Hi, Susan McGarry here. I am at the 2019 Glass Craft and Bead Expo, and it's their 25th anniversary, and so it's a pretty exciting time here. And the classes have been going on for, um, I think a few days, but today is day two of the expo, uh, you know, with the booths in the expo hall. So I'm here getting ready to go inside. So what I'm going to do is um, get some video from the different booths and share those with you. Um, so right here is registration. This is where you would register. And then right over here, they've got some tables with some things on it. Over here, you've got a list of the classes and the map of where everything is and right here is the entrance. So let's go inside. All right, so this is what it looks like when you come inside. There are aisles of booths everywhere. But right here is the Gallery of Excellence. You can see that. And you would come in here and look at all the different projects and enjoy everybody's expert talents and then vote on your favorite for the people's choice and slip it in the box. So I'll just take a quick walk around, let you see some of the projects. Alright, this is the glass hopper booth, glass hopper patterns, you can see that. And what they have is a lot of different fused glass pieces here, dichroic pieces, so that's pretty awesome. And it looks like they also have some molds right here, so that's pretty exciting. So that's the first booth you come across when you come into the expo. Okay, this is the Creative Paradise booth, so they have lots of molds to pick from. They have books. Uh, who is that book by? Oh, Mark Hopper's new book. All right, and this is some of the molds they offer. There you go. Okay, this is the Ray Ziff booth. They do a lot with um, carving. They call it, um, I think it's sand carving, but they do some wonderful things with a sand blaster. <laughs> So that's a lot of fun. This is Pacific Art Glass. They're located in Southern California. They carry quite a bit of Dicro. They carry many other things, but Dicro is one of their, you know, blingy, beautiful, pretty things that we all love. This is the even heat booth, kilns, the even heat kilns. This is the K-Bane Wiener Education Foundation, and so they've got a little project going on here. For a little donation, you can make a little project. This is the Gen Pan Kilns booth. These are the fiber kilns that you've heard about. They come in square and round. This is the Yorgini glass booth. A lot of beautiful glass here. Okay, this is the TAP kiln controller. It is the future of sort of digital kiln controlling. I mean, this is the thing you want for your kiln. And I think they sell it on the Even Heat and Gen Ken uh, kiln websites. So you can check that out and you can find out everything you guys. This is the bullseye booth. A lot of interesting things here. They've got a catalog and some projects and they talk about their bullseye videos here. So you can check that out on their website. Bullseye says hi! <laughs> Alright, this is the scut booth. This is where they, the kilns are for scut. This is our Clay World USA. So they have a lot of things for Oh, just about everything. Metal clay, wire, glass, art clay, mold, stencils, everything. This is a Wismot Glass Incorporated, and they have lots of cool glass. They've got a little 
the, uh, little tutorial thing going on here. It's kind of cool. It's a neat suit, lot of cool glass. This is the DNL Art Glass Supply booth. They have a double booth, nice and big. They have glass and supplies, and their catalogs are here. This is the Press Kiln booth, so they've got a really neat kiln here. They also have a couple of neat projects back there on the table. Let's see if I can show you that. Toyo Tools booth in the Morton system. It's a very busy booth. You can see that. You can't even see the, the products or pro projects they're doing. Very busy booth. This is the Jewel Tool booth. Very cool tool. If you haven't seen that, check that out. This is the Ed Hoy booth. A lot of different things in there to pick from, a lot of cool products. And this is the Kokomo Glass Food. Technoglass, and they're the makers of papyrus uh, fire paper. You can see right there, and they have more things, so many more things. So you'd have to check out their website to see all the different things they offer. I think they have grinder bits sure. now. This is the Rainbow Glass booth. They teach classes in Northern California, and that's Hazel TV. So if you get a chance, stop by their booth. Argon Kiln booth. Lots of different types of kilns to pick from here. Just colors for Earth. And they have a lot of new products and projects and cool stencils. A lot of neat things to pick from. It's always a very busy booth. The paints and stencils and take, make and take projects. So check that out. All right, I wanted to show you this before I leave the Colors for Earth booth. Debbie's doing a little demo here and she's doing really fine lines with this quill pen. Do you see that pen? She can do super fine lines and the way she's doing that is um, using these color concentrates. And because they're not enamels, they don't have the fine grit of glass. And so you can do really fine lines with them. So I want to show you a couple of the different things that we've done. You might have seen this on um, the Colors for Earth Facebook page. That one, I want to show you this one really quick. That's all done with the quill pen and the color concentrates and this beauty. So check that out when you have a chance. Beautiful new booth for Oceanside uh, glass and tile. And this was formerly Spectrum glass. I don't think they call it that anymore. But all that 96 glass that you know and love, this is where you get it now. This is the Dichroic Ink booth. You guys know this if you've watched any of my videos. This is where I get almost all of my glass. They have some amazing glass with amazing patterns. And when they're traveling for shows like this, they don't put their glass on their website. So you'll just have to check back and see all their beautiful glass. This is the Victorian Art Glass booth. They have lots of cool things, DVDs, and forms, and screen mounts. Dennis Brady owns this company, and he sells these forms for the technique he teaches. He also has quite a quite a many videos, several videos on Glass Campus. So check that out. Okay, this is one of Dennis's products. It's a Master Artesian Investment Mix, and I wanted to show you this because I think I want to do a future YouTube video on it. But you can make things like this, things like this, things like this. So it has a lot of options, and uh, Dennis has some videos on his um, Dennis has some videos on his Glass Campus website on the instructions on how to use it, but I may uh, do a YouTube video on, on how it works for me. So look for that. 
And this is the booth for Glass Art, Glass Patterns, and the Flow Magazine, and that's Maureen. She's one of the hosts for the Glass Patterns Quarterly Webinars. And so they're here talking about the different um, magazines and videos. So Okay, this is the Handy Hanger booth. I think you guys remember when I did these project on the video i think it was called to bail and not to bail so they've got those on display here but they have all the different hangers so you would check out their website if you wanted to see those um i think they have three different styles if i'm not mistaken so check that out okay i wanted to show you this this is um christelle and um she makes some very beautiful things these really gorgeous pieces but what I noticed is she has a book with, it looks like 114 tips and tricks. So I would imagine you can get that on her website since you're not here at the expo, if you didn't make it to the expo. It's some really beautiful things. So I want you to check that out. This is the Art Glass Supply Booth and they, I'm sure, have a website, but they have lots and lots of glass to pick from. Lots of neat projects there. All right, this is the Twisted Cane booth. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this. Some beautiful cane choices. And they're all twisted. Look at that gorgeous. It's like candy. It's like coming to a candy store. And there's the owner. Yeah, we have some more. And look at these. All right, guys, that's Twisted Cane. Uh, clueexpressions.com and she does a lot of polymer clay a lot of very beautiful jewelry things like this and she teaches classes oh my gosh I have to show this that is gorgeous. my bling pods her bling pods can you guys see this that is stunning and so this is Karen you're the Hello. artist and teacher anything you want to say before we come and see me oh, I'm here every year in the J row in the J row all right, guys, Bye. check it out. Okay, I'm at the Unique Glass Colors booth, and they have awesome things. This is Margot Clark. She's doing a little demonstration there. She's the maker of the layering compound. I think it's called layering product. It's a pretty neat product if you haven't seen it. But she does little demos. She teaches lots of classes if you ever get a chance. So I wanted to show you that beautiful piece. She's doing a lot of pours right now. You can see where she's sort of pouring the glass piece that she has. So beautiful pieces, check that out. Okay, I'm at the um, Glass Chopper Master. Oh, there's their website right there. And I want to show you this because this is pretty interesting. It chops glass, so this is sort of just chopping. You can do random. Yep. Um, and it comes with this nice little stand and this pole. You add your own, um, what are these things called? Tile nipper. Tile nipper. You add your own tile nipper. And, you know, your own little container to catch them. But you can upgrade it to something like this. Get this little stand that holds your um, your cane, and it chops exactly the, the size that you want it, and then it falls into this bucket. So that is very cool. Let me show you what it looks like. One second. <laughs> Okay, so, I told you so I was that works. Be that beautiful. Check that out, you guys. That so is the glass studio, glass studio for the glass shop. All right, check it out. All right, guys, this is the inspirational glass and metal art. I don't know if you can see that, but they do metal stands. So these are all aluminum stands, and you can add alcohol ink to them and add them to your art, and they will hold your art up, and they have a million styles to pick from. So I couldn't even go over all the different styles, but you can check them out online. Pretty cool product. 
Yeah, really nice. This is the Alcala method. And we've got the acrylic stands. And you put the, we're just using sand, but you can use fine frit. In here, powder sticks to the acrylic. So you always use fine frit. Take a, a Dixie cup, cut off the lip, because then you can do a nice pour spout. And you put that right there, it pours right down. You can layer, we go back, we've got the... What's the name of that product? Uh, this is our David Alcala stain. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the frame that I just saw her using. It's the round David Alcala frame 12 inch. I think they also have a square. Okay, I'm at the Olympic Kilns booth. They have all these awesome kilns, and of course, if you want to buy a kiln, they're always selling kilns from the classroom and even from the showroom floor. And this is their kiln stand for doing vitrograph, so it's a pretty cool stand if you have one of these little kilns. Check that out. Okay, I wanted to show you real quick this kiln that I saw. It's pretty gigantic. What's the size of this? Uh, 25 by 25. 25 by 25. So that means it takes the larger power source. But if you have that, watch what she can do with this. Oh my goodness, look at that. The darn thing slides out. And if you look at the lid, the lid will open like this as a clamshell, or you can close it and be top loading. So you can choose your lid. And most of their kilns offer this. So she's going to lock it up down there and open the top, and there it is, top loading. So you get to pick. So I had to share that with you. That's an awesome kiln. This middle section is called the Bead Bazaar. So you've got some vendors in there, like this. There's always some hot, hot torch things, things like that. There's also people selling their finished work, their finished beads. So that's the center section, the Bead Bazaar. Okay, I'm at the Griffin booth, and they have things like grinders, and belt sanders, and ring saws, and band saws, all kinds of grinding and sawing kinds of things. And they have bits for your grinders. So there's Griffin. This is the Gemini booth. You know them for the Taurus ring saw, and the Apollo ring saw. This is the Covington booth. You guys know them. They have sanders and saws and blades and all kinds of cold working equipment. If you're a serious glass person, this is some serious equipment. Flat lap. We have something here called a vibrating plate, I think it's called three different sizes. You set your glass on there, let it vibrate, and it polishes it for you. Lots of saws here. Lots of blades. Lots of fun stuff. All right, I'm at the CBS booth. That's Coatings by Sandberg. You guys are probably familiar with them. They have lots of different products in the Dico world and even other things. That you saw in a previous video, I used the CBS Dicoic Extract. And they have lots of Dico and lots of frit and sizzle sticks and all kinds of things. Fun, fun, fun booth. Alright, this is the His Glassworks booth. And you guys have heard me talk about this before. This is where I get my little part for my saw, for my wet saw. They have hand pads, like everything that you could need for, um, you know, finishing pieces on, uh, on your glass. So cutting, grinding, polishing, blades. They're very helpful. If there's anything you don't know, um, you can ask them and they'll help you. Just call them. So great company. Check them out. Alright, this is the main stage back here in the corner of the expo, but what they do back here is um, put on lectures and demos, and you can see them on the screen, and uh, you know, they fill this audience, and then people sit back here at these tables. Right now, Petra Kaiser is getting ready to do a demonstration, so she's getting set up. 
but I wanted to show you that because I think it's a really great resource when you're here. It's a lot of fun to see the different demos. So that is the expo from this angle. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The show floor is now closed. The show floor is now closed. We want to thank you all for attending this year. It's our 25th anniversary, and we're so glad that you all came and shared it with us. Thank you so much for being here, and we hope to see you next year. Thank you. <laughs> So that's it from the Glasscraft and Bead Expo. I tried to get as many of the booths as I could. Obviously, I can't get all of them, but I tried to get you a good variety of what goes on here and um, any new products I saw. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be cool, honey bunnies. Bye.